Uh, the, the guys normally do grips about every four tournaments. Okay. So irons are pretty much good. They normally go through about two sets a year. Right. You know, the, the grooves wear down. They want yeah. some fresh grooves. Yeah. So in this trailer here, we're going to have all of the, all of our staff players' grips marked and labeled. But as you can see, all these are filled with different grips. Just because you're not wearing a TaylorMade hat right. doesn't mean that you're not in here and I'm building yeah. a TaylorMade yeah. golf, yeah. golf club. So, you know, Candy when, store. when we're talking shafts, yeah. we also have to have the shafts. Yeah. We represent every shaft company in here. We don't particularly push a certain type of shaft. That's up to the shaft reps Absolutely. and up to our players. Yeah. So as you can see, all these drawers here are just filled. Acura has been a, uh, a a pretty heavy hitter this year. Yeah, absolutely, and, and that's something obviously we have in our store. And I think people who are pay attention to the custom market, they know the guys at Acura really well. Yes. Um, but Sean came from us. Yep. The Sean rep, Mullen, and he's yep. got a great relationship with a lot of these players, and that's what it takes sometimes. Yeah, it's absolutely. that confidence that we talked about. Definitely. It's, you can confine in Sean, mm -hmm. he's not just going to give you something that's not going to work. Yeah. He's actually going to know what you're swinging and try to fit you. So uh, a bunch of this stuff. I mean, the, the guys will be the guys will be really familiar. We test a lot of this stuff on on the channel. And talk to me a little bit about Harrington's builds. Here's some some unique preferences on some of the builds from a tipping standpoint. At uh, times and it's normally tip to length. Right. He's very long, also. Yeah. yeah. So he's very long, he plays a very, very small grip. Actually, it's a 60 and you actually stretch it a little bit. Mm. So as we know, a smaller grip's gonna make your hands twist over quicker yeah. to, to promote a draw. So yes. he, he works with Keith a lot. Right. So, yeah, but every time you build something for Padre, it's gotta be, <laughs> it's, it's out of the ordinary <laughs> than everyone else. So this is pretty much my, my station over here are the metal woods, I have all my different weights. Yeah. This is what sets me apart from your local builders and the shafts. Mm -hmm. I can build you a driver that's 43 inches yeah. or 48 inches and still achieve the swing weight I'm looking right. for. Right. These drawers here have all our latest and greatest product in here. So, of course, the shape in motion, the SIM, this year we're going to have the SIM and we're also going to have the SIM Max. Yeah. We'll also have a D-type. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, we may get a couple guys to hit the D-type. You think so? Yes. So I notice, I notice that you know before these drivers used to, we used to set them on lower. Yeah. Get them as open as you can. Now it's maybe one click lower, yeah. standard, or one okay. click higher. So instead of putting some of these higher to give the guy enough spin, if you do a D-type mm -hmm. and you're able to open it up a little bit and kind of counteract that D-type, then. You never know. One we'll of the things we, we noticed yesterday when we were D-tight was that it sat very square. And the guys yeah. were saying about how the paint job is almost a, like an illusion to the face angle. Face angle is a little more left and the top line would, would kind of let you believe that it is. Yes. So it, it's, it's, it's unbelievable what paint lines yeah. and things, you know, you get a Sharpie, you put some Sharpie on there, you can change sure. the whole look of the golf course. Absolutely. When I first came out here in 2000, we were using 5-minute epoxy. Yeah. And I thought that was horrible. I've been with TaylorMade since 87, yeah. so probably 95. I did a lot of work inside the office on trying to figure out temperature-wise and mm -hmm. time. So we used 24-hour epoxy. And of course, we're not gonna wait 24 hours. Sure. We put it inside this curing cell, which is about 350 degrees. That 24-hour epoxy gets accelerated to cure in two and a half minutes. So when this club comes out of here, you can literally walk right outside and start playing it. Yeah. They will, it will not bond anymore. Mm -hmm. It will not break free. So other companies have actually come in here and said, wait, I got to build this really quick. Yeah. Do you mind if I use your system? Sure, why not? I don't care. And using the 24 hour stuff, wait, is that more just about you know not having the epoxy too brittle where you might get the opportunity for it to break? A hundred percent. And also the best thing about using 24 hour epoxy is I'm able to, to mix up 20 yeah. grams of it. And it takes three or four hours yeah. before it gets hard enough where you don't want to use it. Right. Unlike five minute epoxy that you have to get rid of every five minutes. So if you've got a player comes in, you need to do a quick build, you're, you're, you're ready to run. In and out of here in five minutes. Yeah. Go right to the tee yeah. and tee it off. Love so it'll actually sometimes it takes longer for the grip solvent yeah. to dry yeah. than the epoxy does. That's amazing. So on the heads, I saw the little label 195.1 grams, every head weight obviously very specific. 
what sort of range are you building the heads to? What are the, what are the guys' preferences? Uh, like, like per se, the photo shoot, the lightest head I had was 188. This is without the sleeve. Yes, the sleeve so weighs shell, seven yeah, grams. Right. So the heavy, the lightest one was 188, and the heaviest one was 202. Wow. So it's been really busy, of course, with the high toe and the mill grind two wedges. So, you know, unlike a lot of comp, a lot of companies grind wedges. Yeah. And I, we rarely grind wedges. Interesting. I think a lot of people will be surprised. To, I have to no idea that. why yeah. someone has to grind wedges. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you a little theory on that. You know, we, we've looked at everything, you know, all our wedges. Find one without a... You know, and these things are milled. We give you the heel relief that we think is optimal. We yeah. give you everything. We do offer a couple different bounces, standard mm -hmm. low. Sometimes we have to grind. And when we do have to grind... I have my grinding machine tucked away in this <laughs> ventilated cabinet so you don't see this big I was ugly say, machine. It sounds like there's a reason why that's tucked away. Yes. I mean, if you look at this thing, it's ugly, it's dirty, but we're able to come in here, we're able to custom grind. Do a little work. Yep. Everything like that. And then, the, for grinding reasons, if we want to step over here to that table over there. So a lot of players now are playing a new wedge like Rory will play a new 60 every week right? or every other week. Really? Yes. Likes the grooves that fresh, the face that fresh. Yes. So my, my situation is how does a company grind 20 wedges yeah. exactly the same? Right. You're not going to do it. Yeah. I don't care who you are. Yeah. Bob Pokey, Aaron percent. Dill, you're not, you're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So with this wedge here, where are they at? So I have built up wedges for all my guys in here. So here's what here's the 60 for Macro. Yeah. He can play a different wedge every week because this sole is milled. Mm -hmm. Every one is going to be exactly the same. the same. It's on the same yeah. milling machine. Yeah. So he will never have to worry about the ball going through the turf. Mm -hmm. If the grind is right, yeah. boom, here you go. Every week. Here you go, Roy. And the the grinds that coming on are coming on the way. They're a reflection of what you guys have been asked to do. And they're they're sort of that's the learning process with them anyway. So it's feedback, isn't it? Continuous feedback. Yes, over it's the years. continuous feedback. It's what we think, you know, it's what we need to make the players. I mean, why are you reshaping the sole of yeah. your wedge? Yeah. Why? I, I just I I've never understood that. Yeah. We've I think we've mastered what we need to do. Everything is milled. Mm -hmm. And then if there is, per se, a guy that has a really funky, funky uh, soul, we can actually grind one for him. He right. can approve it. We can send it out, and we can have it come back. We can have it come back, and they can mill 20 wedges with his exact grind on it. And then when the guys are changing that often... You need to do that. That's, that's they don't want to have to worry about it if, yeah. if Trotty or Wade you yeah. know, put enough bounce on there or if there's enough heel for release. Sure. Play. It's not going to change every single week. Play a brand new one. Love it. Love it. It sounds like he was listening to Tomo when Tomo. Yeah, Tomo's exactly. <laughs> you know, if I can add on this, it's, you know, me being in here, the one thing that, that I've heard the last few years is about mm -hmm. ball speed. Yeah. So we really yeah, yeah, yeah. took that and we ran with that. Yeah. Happy. And I joke about it. Everything you say is bang on. Love it, all of it. But the main thing that boils down for us when we're walking out with this stuff right. is it's got to have speed. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll that. figure out the dispersion. But that's it's gotta a, that's speed. exactly it. it. It's the foundation for for any product going into the marketplace. Now, how fast is it? Yes. You know, in any in any driver fit we're going into. First and foremost, as a fit, our responsibility is to ensure performance. Then, like you said, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to get it dialed yeah. in. Yeah. We're not concerned about that yes. part of it. You know, once we start making the little tweaks and you know, find a shaft that influences the timing yep. so they can deliver it, you know, get the strike where it needs to be, all that stuff, we, we're comfortable taking that responsibility and burden. But is it fast, mm -hmm. you know, first and foremost? Yeah. You know, um, which is where you say that because I've been working, you know, being tailor-made, being the head guy on yeah. AJGA now. Mm -hmm. I've been working with a lot of junior players. We both have. Right. And these young kids are, to are taught just to swing as hard as you can. Yep. Once you get that swing down, then we'll go ahead, like sure. Trotty said, yep. we'll get that dispersion dialed in with all the movable weights, different shafts, yep. different, different hosel settings. So it's just the way golf is now. 
what I think is cool, and you know, I, obviously we're in the trader, it's hard not to talk about the products, but tailor-made throughout all these years, you mentioned V-Steel, you mentioned yeah. pieces of clubs that you've liked as a fan, it never shies away from yeah. reinventing something. Mm -hmm. And I think that mm -hmm. comes through for the wedges with yeah. the raw faces, sure. the irons with the speed bridge. We won't see a lot of that, yeah. but I'm excited about it. It's pretty cool that we never shy away, I think. You know, and, and that's, you know, it's I, I bring up the square driver a lot in this aspect. Right. When TaylorMade launches a new product, it becomes the number one product on tour mm -hmm. the first or second week out. You know, how many square drivers did you see on the golf tour? Yeah. You know, we're not we're not throwing stuff against the wall and see if it sticks. Right. We're not changing colors of the 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 numbers on the bottom. We're actually designing new product every single year, mm -hmm. which is going to be better for you and it's going to help improve your golf game. So that's one reason that it makes this job fun out here. When these guys show up in January, I give them new product and they're like kids in a candy store. Yeah, yeah. They're so happy to go out there and hit it. It's funny though because we get to the photo shoot and obviously Wade and I, I think anyone who follows us or keeps in track, we keep it pretty fun, yeah. right? But the photo shoots and places like that. When the engineers see the players hit that product for the first time, it's it's yeah. pretty squeaky trousers. <laughs> I'm not sure it's fun. These guys are like, this needs to work. But I mean, this year was a great success. Most successful one I've been to for sure. Well, the difference, in, the different personalities, and the boys were giving us a little bit of a, an insight into that. DJ loves everything, wants everything that's new, can't wait to get it in play as fast as possible. You've got Ram and, and, and McElroy, which are into it, and they'll they'll adopt pretty quickly. Tiger takes his time. You know, and, he, and he'll he'll want to do his own testing and, and yeah. kind of. And Morikawa is the same. They're is like that right? Thinking men, Tiger yeah. and yeah. Tiger and Colin definitely go away and think. Yeah. Rory though, there was a standout at the photo shoot, which again I'm probably repeating something someone's told you the last day or so you've been here. But there was a hybrid in his bag that had made it into the bag that had been built, and we were meant to have him built for any everyone, and yeah. there just happens to be one in his bag, and he just starts ripping this thing, ripping it, calling himself like why he Matt because <laughs> he's running around the shoot with this thing. He gets asked if he can build more. He's like, I don't I, I don't have any. So obviously we're like, yeah. well, it's just one, share it out. And he's like, I'm not sharing this. Yeah. He's just hitting it. So straight away, yeah. we now are replanning what we're going to do with hybrids here because it was such a hit. I know he was driving from station to mm -hmm. station and whoever he was with, he'd stop and be like, you need to see me hit this. How far to that flag? Really? And it's like 2.30. He's like, perfect, give me the hybrid. And then he hit the hybrid. And into he sold Dustin on it because Dustin came in here wanting me to build Wait, him one. Where's the hybrid for we me? We had one hybrid at the photo shoot and that was it. So, <laughs> sorry, Dustin. Why E. McElroy's right got now. it. If you want it, why E. McElroy's oh, yeah, got it. <laughs> so the, the boys were telling us a story about the guys in the golf ball and they're all playing with Tiger and, and doing these different things. And they see the, t the shots Tiger's playing and you know he spins a lot more than them. So they're leaning a little bit more towards having a little bit more spin now Rory Definitely. is. Definitely. I think, look, he, anytime he hits, yeah, you're what, everyone's watching. Yeah. He hit this shot at the photo shoot and uh, he has his ball there, which is very soft, mm -hmm. very spinny. And there was a flag 125 yards out mm -hmm. tight to a trap just on the on the range but it's a beautiful range we're at the floridian and uh he's hitting this low not higher than this truck which is pretty high but not higher than this mm -hmm. truck low seven iron draw 125 yards pitching just over the trap one hop skip left stop and it's not as if the pin is on a piece of rough it's on a manicured green and i'm looking at it thinking okay i definitely couldn't hit that no. shot but it wasn't just me i think then morikawa is like what are you hitting seven yeah. iron okay Wolf, what are you hitting seven nights? So then they all start, and everyone's just watching, thinking, that's pretty impressive. Like, hard, low draw, checking and stopping, 125 yeah. yards, just no speed in the swing at all. Perfect strike every time. He's just, he just, every, when he does something, everyone stops, you know? That's just how he is. Especially of the era of, of the golfers that are around him. And those, I thought those episodes down at the Floridian where the guys are in bunkers, they're doing challenges, long drive challenges. Yeah. And you see all the guys, you see DJ and, and Jason Day and Ram, and, and when Tiger's up there, it's his turn to hit. And they all want to know, okay, how did you do that? Or they're just, they're watching in a different way. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're studying and they're just, they're, they're a little, I'm sure they are a little bit in awe, you know, of, of their hero. He's it's, all over hero. It's There's the no same. Right? I mean, when remember when we opened this truck and we did the launch night in Austin and he came on and, yes. you know, you try not to make yeah. him feel uncomfortable, but sure. when there's so many big customers of ours yeah. or people who've been involved in this who come in who aren't, aren't mm -hmm. around him all the time. Not that we are, but now when we are, we're 
we're in this scenario enough yeah. to not make him feel uncomfortable. But I mean, people, he walks in and he just stops the room, yeah. right? I mean, it's obvious. Yes, 100%. You know, <laughs> even, you know, we work with these guys, you know, on a weekly basis and we don't, you know, smother them at all. Yeah. So when you have guys from the office come out and Tiger comes in, they think, well, I'm going to go over there and talk to Tiger. Yeah. Eh, it's just kind of, yeah. you know, it's kind of not like that. No, but, no, you know. no. You talked a little bit about uh, Morikawa and, and Wolf. That must be pretty exciting to have two guys that are just... You know, beyond talented, uh, joining the staff. I really like both of them. Yeah. Obviously, only known them both what six, eight months yeah, now. Yeah. Um, very different personalities right. from what I see. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think amazing talent. Yeah. I think Colin is the one that has impressed me the most. I felt like I knew Matt before I'd even met him, yeah, yeah. and then when you meet mm-hmm. Matt, he delivers on everything that you expect him to be. Right. He's going to be this modern day golfer that's charismatic and takes this forward and he's yeah. found the right caddy for him and found the right obviously he's had the same coach but sure. he's found the right team around him and i think now he'll flourish and we will spend imagine a lot of time with him he's very comfortable very confident he was in here all photo shoot <laughs> couldn't kick him out of here in the photo shoot, yeah so. and he's fun really yeah, good yeah. fun i think yeah. that the game is going to learn more about that guy and he's going to be great for the game colin mm-hmm. I think, it, it, having spent some time, again, getting to ask the real technical golf questions, yeah. he explains it very well. He thinks it through. Mm-hmm. He's just over-delivered on, I was like, okay, we're signing Colin Mulcahy, that's brilliant. And then you get the report from Ryan Resser, who's our college rep, yeah. and it's great to hear, and he does an amazing job. Then you finally get inside what makes Colin tick, yeah. and you realize that this kid's going to be unbelievable for a long time just a real special deep talent golf yeah. straight yeah. forward that young. yeah focused yeah yeah wolf is more laid back sure. great attitude yeah. you know both of them making good decisions yeah. though that's what strikes me these guys are so young mm. and they're making decisions that you know I've, I've been not in their shoes but in this environment for 15 years i yeah. still can't make the decisions that they appear to be making and they've only been in this for five minutes and they're so opposites from each other. Massively, yeah. Well, that, one on this end, one on that end. It's unbelievable. That's where the appeal is going to be, isn't it? Because yes. you're, you're not just going to just be drawn to Matt, you know, and the yeah. way he is, or Colin, the way he is, you're going to have, yeah. you're going to have both of them that are just... Yeah. Uh, both ready. ends of the spectrum yeah, with those players right there. It's, it's absolutely the going to be a, a home case. run for us at Taylor. Yeah. Well, boys, I mean, we can't thank you enough for opening the trailer and not just even this, I mean, everything you do, you know, every week of the year when you're out in the trailer, you, know, you give us an idea of what it's like to, you know, behind the scenes, who I think, you know, the guys who are watching this, they want to see that stuff. You know, everyone, you know, loves the tour truck stuff. They want to know what the best players in the world are playing and you guys do that on a different level. So we really appreciate it. And I think from our side, I know that, uh, both of us have talked about you coming on. We were excited about it. And oh, yeah. to see a guy come over from Europe, ex tailor made guy, yeah. and carry the flag forward, I think uh, always makes us feel comfortable, right? So, top work. Yes. Appreciate that, boys.